Okay, give it a swirl. The Hamilton Beach Non-Stick Electric Skillet. What is up everyone, I'm Alan and welcome back to Healthy Kitchen 101. Continuing our electric skillet series today, we're going to be unboxing the Hamilton Beach Non-Stick Electric Skillet. 38529K. Now, let's open it up and go through all the parts and features. I'm going to cut open the tape, open it up, turn it upside down, and everything will just slide right out. Okay, lay it down, remove the foam pads, quite firm. Okay, here's the lid. I'm going to take off the plastic cover. Okay, as you can see, the lid is tempered glass, metal edging, steam vent, firm handle, very nice. Now for the pan, take off the plastic cover, and what I'm guessing, the thermostat. Okay, so the power cord is around a little more than 10 inches long, which is a little bit short for my liking but should be enough for your kitchen table and kitchen counter. You can see here, on the thermostat we have minimum, which I guess is 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 200, 250, 300, 350, and 400 is the highest temperature setting. Okay, let's take a look at the pan. Very thick, properly cast aluminum with a ceramic non-stick coating copper colored and take a look at this the pan is detachable and you can see at the bottom for the heating elements there are two guards which I think is pretty cool okay take a look at the base very light with its own handles very convenient but it's not foldable so it might take a little bit of space in your dishwasher it's still very cool now, let's give this skillet a test for its heating time by boiling one liter of water. Okay, the water goes up to about a quarter of the way, so plenty of space left. Close the lid. Have my timer over here, a thermometer, so that I know when the water has reached a rolling boil, and then I can stop the timer. Okay, I'm gonna turn the temperature up to maximum setting which is 400 degrees F, start the timer. So boiling water with your electric skillet is actually a very good before first you practice because it helps you get rid of the dirt and even the unwanted odor accumulated during the delivery process. Okay, I can see the water has started to evaporate. Now let's wait until the temperature is hit. Very close. Thanks to the water, you can actually see the shape of the heating elements which is rectangular, okay. Stop the timer, seven minutes and 20 seconds. So a little bit on the slower side compared to some of the few other skillets that I've seen, but it's quite normal. Okay, now let's check the exterior temperature. Okay, first up, the lid handle, 95. Yep, still very cool. Base handle, 90 degrees F, not hot at all. Now the lid, around 200 degrees F, the pan, also around 200. So yeah, be careful not to touch the lid or the pan while the skillet is running. Yep. So I'm gonna stop the skillet, open the lid. The lid feels very firm in the hand, no flimsiness whatsoever. Okay, I'm gonna remove the thermostat. Right, as you can see, I can just pick up the pan and I'm gonna dump all this water away. So, be back in a few seconds. So, I've dumped out all the water. Most of it flew out cleanly, but I can still see a few drops of water left. So, let's give it another test by frying some eggs. My eggs over here. We're just gonna wait for a couple of seconds. Okay. So it seems like the pan is quite hot already. 
But how do we know if the pan is hot enough? So there's actually a test for that with some water. As you can see, if the water forms like droplets and you can like swirl them around, and that means the pan is hot enough. It's called the Leyden Frost effect. Okay, so I'm gonna spray some cooking oil and crack in the eggs. First one. And second one. Okay, so we're gonna wait for the eggs to firm up. So the eggs has firmed up. Let's see if there's any sticking. As you can see, no sticking whatsoever. Take a look. Yep, no sticking whatsoever. You can move the eggs around freely. Awesome. Okay, that concludes our unboxing of the Hamilton Beach non-stick electric skillet. First impression, very convenient design. One of the best that I've seen so far. Performance-wise, heating times, pretty good. The non-stick, pretty good as well. So we're gonna, in our in-depth review video in the near future, we're gonna dive into everything, design, usability, and most importantly, performance, where we're gonna be searing some steaks, making some pancakes, and caramelizing some sugar. So wait and see. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please consider like and subscribe to our channel, Healthy Kitchen 101. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.